Hi guys, uh, in the previous video I showed you how to set up Sonar Cube uh, using Docker. So now what you are going to do is we are going to try and run an analysis on some code and see how it uh, populates in Sonar Cube, right? So what we are going to do is uh, this is the link for the documentation in Sonar Cube, all right? And there is also an example that I have downloaded uh, for Gradle. All right, you can select any option that you have, and just refer the corresponding documentation. All right. So uh, in the last uh, video, we just uh, generated a token, and then you know this was blank. So what I did is downloaded this repository. All right and uh, so this is the folder and then I just went into this gradle and over here in build.gradle this is the section we are interested in in so the real uh, thing the important thing out here is just this part you just need to copy and paste this and after this you know you can have more details like description of the project name of the project and other other things this is the other dependencies of gradle that would be there in your project so that's one of the files the other files that you need to create is gradle.properties which would have this entry and this is the token that you had copied in the previous uh, video you just need to put it over here all right and once you do that This is gradle.properties, just the file that I showed you, right? This is the file, just put it in here. So you basically have to have it under the gradle folder, all right? So just put it in there, um, gradle.properties. And then in build.gradle, you need to have this line, plugins, right? So once you have this, just go to the folder where this uh, repo is. So I'm already at that location now. All right. And now you see uh, over here, there's no project, right? So what I'm going to do now is just run Gradle Sonar Cube. That's all you need to do. So once I run this, it's all automatically going to start analyzing and it's going to send this analysis to the server that we have done so in our case it's already done that and now if I go here to the ser server and just refresh you see the name that we had given it's the same name it has passed and it shows there are zero bugs zero vulnerabilities there are three code smells 50% coverage and all of these details according to your project and then you can go in over here and dig in further you know like if there are three code smells what are those three issues and if you can solve them and whatnot right i hope this was helpful thanks